Did you set a savings goal for this year, 2024? If you didn't, I have a great tip to help you get a savings goal started. Matter of fact, this savings goal is almost complete. So stay tuned for this great tip. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. Thank you, thank you for stopping by. Wanda is my name and saving money is my game. If you're not saving for emergencies, let's make it yours too. Let's save more in 2024. Let's save more money in 2024 and we'll be glad that we did. And I'm asking if you would subscribe to this channel, click the thumbs up button, drop me a comment and let me know what you think of this video. Is it helpful? Is it a great idea? I'm very curious to know. And would you share this video because there may be someone that could use this content also. And would you click the notification bell so you may be notified every time I upload a new video. I want to say thank you for being here. Welcome to everyone and I hope everyone is doing well. And again, I'm just letting you all know that my YouTube channel name is changing. This is just a reminder. So click your notification bell. That way when I upload a new video, it'll go directly to your feed. And that's the name right there. But it's going to be changing. It hasn't changed yet. And I'm thinking about doing it this Sunday, which will be, let me see, today is the, um, I think today is the 6th. Uh, I think Sunday is maybe like the 5th or somewhere in there. But I'm thinking about doing it this Sunday. Okay? I said it's going to be the week of the 11th. But I think I might do it this Sunday. I'm going to try. We'll see. Okay, so, like I said, have you started a savings goal? We're almost through the year 2024. And at the beginning of 2024, I created these savings challenges to help someone start saving for emergencies if they weren't saving and they're working with small amounts of money because i see it like this if we take small amounts of money every time we get some money and put it away it would add up over time and that's what some of us need it's time to put away money some of us don't have large amounts of money whenever we get money whenever we get paid or whatever however we get our money but if we take small amounts of money, it will add up. And I have seven savings challenges. And today's savings challenge is savings challenge number five, which I do on Fridays. And it's what you need for this is a cash stuffing binder and $125. You see that? Okay. This came to my mind to put away $125 every Friday and do, do that over the course of 2024. Damn. I see it like this. If we save $1,500 every three months, four times throughout the year, it would add up to $6,000. And that is the savings goal for 2024, $6,000. So, Every three months would be January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay? And so that would have equal up to sixteen, I mean six thousand dollars now. And if you put in $125 every week, that would equal up to six thousand dollars. And like I said, we're almost through this year because we're in the month of September now. <laughs> so I've completed this uh, two times already. The third time will be at the end of October. Oh, the end of September. Yeah. October, November. Yeah, the end of September. This. The $1,500 will be completed. I have to get my bearings together. Okay? <laughs> All right. So, um, 
Now, in order to do something like this, one thing we have to do, we have to have income. We have to have to, whether we're working a nine to five, side hustles, being an entrepreneur, whatever, we have to have income. And if we don't have income or we're living, uh, we don't make enough income, what we need to do is increase our income. There are ways to do that. There are jobs out there. There are a lot of people hiring, especially now that Christmas is coming up. Uh, employers are hiring, hiring, hiring. They can't seem to keep employees. I'm not going to even go into what's going on on my job. But anyway, yeah, there it is work out here. We have to find it. And sometimes we have to pray. Ask God to open up the door and make a way out of no way to give you a job. Think about what, what you want to do. What, or even think about where you want to work, how much you want to make. And, and ask God because he said in his word, ask and it shall be given. Seeking it shall find. Knocking the door shall be open. Whosoever ask it, receive it. And then when we ask it, we got to believe that we have it. So start saying, thank you for my job. Say things you want a job at working for GM, let's just say. Thank you for my job at GM and my salary is this, that, and whatever you want. God can do it, okay? Yes, he can. So anyway, so like I said, you need the, um, a cash stuffing binder. Now, this is one I created from supplies from Dollar Tree, okay? I could have went on Amazon, Timu, Etsy, and all, and bought a cash stuffing binder. But I like to make things. I like to create things. And I happen to be out. And I thought, let me go on Dollar Tree and see what I could find. And I saw, the first thing I saw was this notebook. And uh, then I saw these pencil pockets. These are pockets that you keep pencils in. And they fit in here perfectly. The only thing, the fasteners in this notebook were too short. So... I was in Walmart and I found fasteners that were longer. Let me see, let me see if I can show you. See, they were longer and it was able to hold everything in here because the fasteners that were in here, it wasn't secure. It got in there, but it wasn't secure. So, in each pocket holds like, this one holds $100 bills, $50 bills, 20, 10s, 5s, and ones, and then I had just put these extras in here for like miscellaneous money or whatever. So every week I stuff these, uh, this money, and I'm not calling this one this one a emergency fund. I just made a goal to say six thousand dollars this year, and uh, by the end of September it will have four thousand five hundred dollars in here once in the September and then in the December it would be six thousand dollars because I've completed uh two times fifteen hundred dollars already okay so and I have to say this when we're saving money in our house make sure it's in a secure location that is waterproof fireproof and theft proof now um I've been saying you know, when we have money at home, I call that right now money in case we have emergency right now. But this money here is not necessarily emergency fund. This money was uh, just a gold came to my mind to save six thousand dollars during this year, and I believe when I say this, what I'm going to do is put it in the stock market because we do want to build wealth. I don't talk about about that but we want our money to grow, okay? And this money has been a tool for me to use to make these videos, okay? I can't make the videos without the money. And I thought it would be more beneficial using real money. I could have went out and got fake money, but I thought it'd be more beneficial to use real money, okay? All right, so let me go ahead and show you what I, I'm not gonna count the money today, okay? But I'll just show you. This is the $100 bills, okay? And I'm going to add $100, all right? Okay, and these are the 50s, 
And this is money that I've been putting in here since the beginning of 2024. I started this in January. It goes over the 50s. I'm not adding a 50 today. These are the 20s. Okay. It's a lot of 20s here. And I'm going to add another 20 to it. Okay. All right. And then these are the 10s. Okay, I'm not adding a 10 today. These are the fives. Okay. Let me see. Okay, yeah, these are the fives. And, oh, got to add a five. Five. I have to add a five. Okay, and then these are the ones, and I'm not adding any ones today. Okay. All right. Okay, so this shows how when we're patient, consistent, and disciplined, it adds up over time. Now, if you've been following me, you know what I do is I give myself a smiley face, emoji smiley face for doing this. Kind of like a pat on back. Good job, Wanda. <laughs> today is, oh, today is Friday, uh, September the 6th. So Sunday is the 8th. So that's what I'm going to try to, um, that's what I'm going to try to sit down and, uh oh, knock this stuff over. Change the name of my YouTube ch channel. Okay, so I added $125 here. And ooh, my emojis. Okay, so what I do for the see these are the emojis that I add. For the $100 bill, I give that one, this pretty purple one. Or fuchsia. No, that's not the right color. I use the fuchsia color for the $100. Here. This is just something I'm doing for fun. Okay? See? And then the, the $20 bill gets a blue one. And the $5 bill gets a bronze color one, which I'm out of the bronze for these stickers. I had another one of these, and I don't know where it is. So, I had got these hearts also when I was in Dollar Tree. So, we'll just use a heart. Okay? And that lets me know that I put $125 in my cash stuffing binder. Okay, so drop me a comment and let me know if you're doing this savings challenge and which one is your favorite. Uh, someone let me know that they had gotten their binder. So, and I'm happy for you, and I hope things are going well. If you just started, you can just start where we are now. Because like I said, this year is almost over. Or if you want to try to catch up, you can. It's up to you. Okay? All right. So, I want to say, I hope this video is helpful. I hope you got great value out of this video. And I'll catch you all in the next video. I forgot to write this in here. And this book is falling apart. <laughs> Cash stuffing binder. And I added $125. Okay, now I'll count this when I do my big reveal, which I didn't do in August, but I'm going to do it eventually. Okay, so thank you for stopping by. Thank you for joining me. You all have a safe, wonderful day. And happy savings. I'll catch you in the next video.